The 7 p.m. moment is a, is a moment in your career where, you know, it, it was a, a, a crux. You know, mm-hmm. it was, I'm either going to go this way or I'm going to go this way. And it's going to decide my fate. The moment that I think of immediately ultimately didn't, it did lead me to it. But there was this moment that I always think about and sometimes keeps me up at night. And it happened in college. It was, I got this opportunity to study abroad in Paris. Mm. And I wanted to because my family, or my dad is from Senegal. My mom is a French teacher. And uh, yeah, I grew up speaking French, but I I really wanted to get back in touch with Senegalese culture. And I could do that on this Paris trip. It was amazing. And I got into the program, but at the same time I was applying uh, with a friend to this, we, we wrote a, Screen pay, play together, and it became a finalist at Sundance. And mm-hmm. I, if we got chosen, or semi finalist, if we got chosen as a finalist, then it would, like, I would, I would be in Paris, and I wouldn't be able to go to Sundance. Mm-hmm. And I was like, this is what I want to do. I want to be a filmmaker, but like, Paris can change my life. And there was also a dude there, and I was like, oh, <laughs> I, I, I could. You know, this person could be the one, um, this dude could be the one. And like that was, I also just wanted to kind of get my whole shit off in Paris, frankly. Yeah. And another continent. I know, uh, yeah. Niggas, niggas in Paris. Come on. Yeah, you, know, you, know the, you know the vibe. You know, listen, that shit applies. Yeah, this is another, this is another Absolutely planet. Absolutely applies. They speak another language over here. They do. I can do whatever the fuck I want. And so I, and then a couple of friends were gonna go, it was, it was gonna be amazing. But I was like, but if I get, this opportunity and I miss it because I'm in Paris, like I will, I have that feeling of regret I talked about where I'm just like, what the fuck? All these niggas is the same, niggas is the same in Paris, that was the same in Paris, like why did I go here? So I decided not to go to Paris. The program thought I was very, very dumb to like take a chance to see if my script would be a finalist at Sundance and I had to wait to do it. Um, And we didn't get picked, we did not, so I kind of, in my mind felt like I missed out on this opportunity for nothing and like ended up having to, I ended up also dropping out of school for a short short period to like still try to pursue it and still sell this script. Um, and it, it led to absolutely nowhere. And I think about like, if I had just gone on that trip, my life would have been completely different. Um, and I, I might have stayed out there. Like my mom uh, studied abroad. She lived in Paris for um, a while. That's how she met my dad. And I'm like, oh, I could have been, I could have taken my mom's journey and I could have been, you know, a French teacher or whatever. I, I know that I would have probably got knocked up out there, to be honest. <laughs> um, and that would have been a life that I could have liked. But I think about making that decision was kind of betting on myself and being hopeful that this this script would lead me to the path that I've desired the most. Mm-hmm. And um, I don't regret it because it led me here, but I always think about what would have what would have happened if I went to Paris. You ever go back? Yeah, have you been? I mean, obviously you've been back to Paris. You're very popping. Have you been back and <laughs> seen somebody and been like, damn, that could have been me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like a, like a, like, like the Parisian version them, of me? A, oh, like, they are like, baby. A push and a baby. Like, 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 it's crazy. crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, at the crepe stand, with the baby I running around and shit. I've never had that though. I've never looked at someone like, ooh, thank God that's not me. I died. You, know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for you, bitch. <laughs> <That's on me. laughs> no, yeah. no, I haven't, but. Yeah, I mean, I, I just, it's one of those things where you wonder, and I have a lot of moments like that, where it's scary, it does keep you up. Like if this hadn't happened, or I could have died in this moment, I almost got hit by a train the last season of Insecure, because I really had to go to the bathroom, and I think about that moment a lot what? too. It was like we were shooting the finale, and the theater that we were shooting in did not have bathrooms, and I had to go so badly. And they were like, okay, we'll to get you a car to get back to your trailer, and, um the the light like he was just driving slow as fuck and then we were stuck at a light and I was like fuck it I'm gonna get out the car and just run across the street and I literally decided fuck it at the moment got out the car he was like man wait 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 and I crossed and I never I didn't know that subway trains could honk <laughs> but it was like, <laughs> and so I looked and it was coming right at me and I just barely missed it so if I had 
waited a moment. And that would have been an embarrassing way to die, to get hit by a train in LA. So, we uh, barely have subways. Oof. It was, it was, we it barely was, have subways. I was going to say, I was going to say, in LA is crazy. Yeah. You're not going out like Ramo. You yeah. just, uh. And I want to for sure pee myself, like immediately. So they would have, they would have got that too. Damn. <laughs> Uh, young filmmaker Issa Rae pissed on herself. Gets hit by a train. Got <laughs> struck by a train today, unfortunately. She had to go to the bathroom. 